The Silver Eagle is something we talk about every day, every show. It's the benchmark and one of the key cogs in today's modern collecting. But how many of us have actually seen the origin? Going back to the walking liberties, but not just the average coin. We're talking about certified beauties. Well, tonight, we're going to change that. We got a couple. You got to listen. So as reference, the Silver Eagle has been the dominant silver dollar since 1986. It's kind of gained momentum, and over the last 39 years, yes, can you believe it's been 39 years of the Silver Eagle, it's become the dominant silver dollar in the world today. And part of it is it's the largest, the purest, and the heaviest silver dollar. But I'm more on the other side of it that it has the most beautiful design ever. Right there, which is Lady Liberty walking from east to west, the sun setting in the west. That is the old Adolf Wyman Walking Liberty half dollar design. And that is what we're looking at right here. The original Walking Liberty half dollar series started in 1916. It was part of President Theodore Roosevelt's coin renaissance. And in 1916, we launched all three silver coins with different designs for the first time. You might recall prior to that launch in 1916, all of our silver coins had the same look. We had the bust design in the early 1800s. We had the seated design in the middle of the 1800s. We had the barber design late 1800s into early 1900s. So the Renaissance in 1916 was all new coin designs. And Adolf Wyman knocked it out of the park with this beautiful Walking Liberty half dollar. So again, 1916 through the year 1947, and the Franklin half dollar came into play first year 1948. The obverse is what we see in the Silver Eagle, but the reverse is gorgeous. And when you get them in high grade uncirculated condition, you can see the detail down to the granular. Every feather is accounted for here when you're looking at 64s or higher. We talk often about where the cutoff is from a coin to a real special coin. And we call it the 1% club, but it basically means that 99% of the coins that are known today are lesser grade. And now, with the help of the grading services, PCGS here, we're able to look at what they have seen. Because PCGS records every coin it sees, no matter what the grade. So the 1944 and the 1945 you're seeing on your screen right now, Every coin, no matter what the grade, they have recorded over the last 39 years. And here are the numbers, and they're staggering. They made 28.2 million coins in 1944 in Philadelphia, but in 64, 65, and 66, 64 in higher condition, all added together, it's only 13,255. If you think that's fun, it's even more crazy when you look at the 45. That jumped over 31 million, 31.5 million coins made, and then only 18,745. Which means both of these are way under 20,000 coins this nice known to exist. Now, prior to the grading services coming in to help us understand the numbers in the late 1980s, the only way we would know the difference is going to a show and you don't see high quality coins. So you know they're a little bit rarer than the rest. And I've been doing this now going on 40 years, so I understand a little bit of that flow, and I see a bit of that flow. But the services, since they report everything, are so easy to lean on, because they tell us exactly how many coins they've seen, but in this case, how many they have not seen. For kicks and giggles, how about making a comparison? I mentioned the Silver Eagle earlier, correct? 39 years of the Silver Eagle. The key Silver Eagle, the one with the lowest number of uncirculated coins seen, is 1990. That was 115,000 coins in change. The one with the lowest mintage figure is the 1996. That one has 137,000 coins that have been seen over the last 39 years and certified. Now, both of those coins in 69 to 70, that's the number. 
And in 69 grade, they're both over $100. This 96 is over $150. And we have a coin that's three quarters of a century old. The gorgeous original classics. And every one that we have, the very limited number we do, are blast white beauties, just like the two you're seeing on your screen right now. Now my competition sells these in capsules at between $115 and $120. Those are just basic men's stage 60s. Gorgeous coins. Great coins. But in 64 grade, crazier. We found one of them at $175, and that was a, well, it wasn't a blast white beauty like ours. A little lesser eye appeal. And the other one was closer to 200 But the bottom line is no matter what the grade, they were higher than we are. Here we take it very, very, we, we take it seriously. We want to have the best coins at the best price all the time. And we're going to strive to do so. Now our phones are very busy right now, which means an alternative always, as we're talking during our coin shows, is avccoins.com, as you see in the bottom right of your screen. When you hear the fast busy and it happens here, probably a couple of hours every night. And we thank you all for that. That, that keeps us all going. It just means big pause, 15, 20 seconds, hit the redial on your phone and boom, you're back into us. And one of our operators will be happy to take care of you. But either of these tonight, I am pretty sure we're going to see a sellout. The last time we had certified 64s. We've had 63s in the last six months, but we have not had 64s in the last six months. This is the first time out, and we're thrilled to have them here. Guys, we got to put a one-minute clock up, please. We're down to single digits on both. The your choice means, again, if you just want to have one to add to your Silver Eagle collection, saying, hey, this is the origin story of that gorgeous silver dollar. I get it. If you want to start, and once you get it, you're going to be hooked. Because I'm a big fan of the obverse, but that eagle right there, wow. Outright wow. And again, in the Talons olive branch. Just a gorgeous look and a gorgeous feel. And you really notice the difference between a 60 and a 64 by looking at them in a certified holder. It's wow of a difference. The detail, as I referenced, down to the threads. But here again are the numbers. 28 million coins made, 13 thousand and change known. That's the 44. 31.5 million made. 18.8, a little over 18,000 known in 64 or higher. Competition selling them for north of our price. Ours are blast white beauties. And they're under 150 each as a your choice. As they always say, it's the AVC way and this one's all fat. Here's that origin story, everybody. Don't pass it up.